Hey, what's going on guys, Dagano here. And uh, before we get into the video, I'd like to remind you guys to uh, to please like and to please subscribe. Uh, it will mean a lot and I'm trying to hit 10k. Uh, so yeah. All right, hey, what's going on guys, Dagano here. And uh, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make the effect that you've just seen on screen. Uh, it is very, very simple. And uh, it's gonna be a bit more geared towards beginners because I'm gonna be showing you the exact values and I'm gonna be recreating the, uh, the effect instead of just giving you guys the preset. Uh, so to start off, I've just got my clip right here. I've got some sound effects. I've got a bass swoosh and a, uh, a pump sound effect right here. And of course, the uh, the song, which is going to be right here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is just click on our video track. Go one, two, three frames back, split the clip, just like that. And then we're going to go and click on our, our marker right here. Right click, insert, remove envelope and velocity. Uh, now we're going to go to the uh, the marker, we're going to double click to make a, a keyframe and we're going to drag it up until we can see our name, which is going to be, uh, I'd say roughly 400% or if 375, I'm going to do 400 and we're going to go two frames forward, one, two, and we're going to set this to 50. And once we've done this, it should look something like this. just like that uh, you can obviously play around with the uh, with the velocity if you so desire uh, there shouldn't be any real consequences to that uh, however now we're gonna get into our uh, actually manually adding the effect uh, to make it look you know significantly better uh, so to start off I'm just gonna go to my s underscore shake and I have got a whole bunch of different presets prepared for you guys so uh, the first thing we're gonna drag on is tutorial one uh, it should look something like this. So just go ahead and copy these values that I'm opening for you guys right now. Uh, just like that. And you can obviously pay that back if you uh, want to do that. Uh, so now what we're going to want to do is just click on animate, uh, make a keyframe, go back to the first frame, set it to, uh, to zero. And we're going to go forward 10 frames uh, from this. So uh, we're going to go to frame 13 and we're going to set it to zero just like that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and add tutorial two. Uh, just go ahead and drag that on there. Uh, I'm going to just show you the uh, all of these values real quick. So you can just pause and copy them uh, just like that. And just go ahead and uh, add a keyframe on the marker. Uh, make sure to set it to 400. Set the first one to zero and drag that out and set the last or just hold control and drag it to the end of your clip and make sure that is set to zero as well. Now we're going to add tutorial three and I'll just open these up for you. So if you just scroll down here, uh, you should copy these settings to zero and everything except on the Y shake there. And just go ahead and set the uh, the marker to reset the keyframe on the marker to 0.3 roughly and set the first one to zero. And now we go three frames forward. So one, two, three and uh, hold control on the keyframe and just drag it so that there's a zero, uh, three frames to the right and three frames to the left of this central keyframe. Uh, now, lastly, I'm gonna add tutorial four. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open these up for you guys as well. Should be like that. Uh, so yeah, just go ahead and copy that. And uh, now we're gonna make a marker on the kill, which is going to be uh, one pretty much. And we're going to go back one keyframe and we're going to set this to zero and delete the first one so that there is sort of space there. And now we're going to go 10 frames forward. So to 13 and we're going to set that to zero. And once we've got that all figured out, we, I'm just going to go ahead and solo that. And I'm going to go ahead and just solo the bass swoosh so that we don't have to hear any of the music. That is not intended. All right, so I figured out the solution. Uh, this last keyframe right here didn't place, so I'm just gonna go ahead and redo that. So just set it to, uh, set that to zero right there. And uh, now we should be good to go. Yeah, okay, now we're good to go. All right, so uh, now we're gonna go ahead and just add some of the remaining effects that, you know, aren't shake. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is just add our RGB. So I've got a tutorial one right here. It should be this sort of RGB. Just go ahead and click animate down here and make sure you're on the marker and just go ahead and click on edit. Uh, now just make sure that it's on negative three and close out and go to the uh, the first uh, frame. Uh, go to double click on chromatic aberration and just set the red cyan to zero and make sure to click finished. 
Uh, now, once you've done that, just go ahead and uh, copy this, hold control, and just drag it out roughly to like here or like the end. It doesn't really matter. Just somewhere along there. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and add some flicker. So uh, we have our flicker right here, tutorial one. Uh, these are the settings that you're going to need to copy. So I'm going to click on the uh, the marker, just add 0, 0,3 to the kill and set the first keyframe to zero. Just drag that out and set it like underneath the magic bullet looks, I guess. And uh, our last thing we want to add is film blood. So this is going to be roughly the same thing as the last one. Uh, it is going to be, you know, this, you can just copy these settings. I haven't really changed anything except the glow intensity. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a keyframe to the marker. Set the first one to zero and just drag that out and set it underneath the um, the first thing. Uh, so yeah, that is pretty much it. Your you know timeline thing should look something like that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. And peace.